afternoon guys how's it going finally got a nice day and uh, I feel like I needed to get outside and uh, I think I'm gonna go for a little bit of a drive get some lunch and uh, get flying low son good old Fort Indian Town Gap doing some training exercises I guess so before I go downstairs in the dungeon to uh, start filming the official drilling of the desk <laughs> to get the uh, Mika arm in. I am gonna go out and enjoy the day for a few. So let's get to the car as soon as... What are you doing? Can I help you? What are you doing? Why are you, ha why are you hanging out over there? I wanna stay outside. Oh well, I guess I'll be home for a little while before he wants to come in. Before I get started uh, working downstairs, I wanted to grab a couple things that I'm going to need. First off, a drill. And um, that's pretty much it. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Um, I gotta find my drill bits. I don't know what I did with them. I think they're downstairs. I am going to need to take apart the drawer because I have to uh, cut out a spot in the back so the bolt doesn't hit the drawer as it opens and closes or the drawer is actually will not close after I drill into it so I need to do that as well um, I'm probably just going to take the drawer out and we'll cut it and I'll show you that for the mic arm I'm probably just gonna need maybe like a half inch drill bit but to put the grommet into the desk I'm probably going to need either a three-quarter or one inch uh, drill bit, and this is good for wood, well, like, really wood, but it'll be easier to cut with that, and this is only three-quarter, so I'm gonna have to check that and see, uh, what size that grommet is, I don't remember. After measuring this, we're probably gonna need about a half-inch drill bit, and this one, I did not measure yet, but, um, this is a full one-inch so it might actually be even a little large well no this is probably about one inch so I'm gonna need to find my one inch drill bit for this and we'll be able to slice into the desk as far as ah, depth for this we're gonna have so that'll go underneath but this itself is gonna come down a good bit and like I said that's gonna hit the back wall of the drawer and we're gonna have to cut out a good bit of the drawer itself what I'm probably gonna end up doing is just do a big U and make sure that it goes down maybe like an inch and a half and like I said go a little wider than normal because the cable for this is gonna be right behind this and I don't want it to get snagged on the edges of the corner so I'm just gonna go a little bit wider than it should so I probably wanna go like maybe I'd say right about there I think that'll be a good spot for it, like halfway in between the speaker and and the computer itself, and back just a little bit. Same thing goes for the grommet here, which I'm going to hide right behind it, like so. So you can't necessarily see it all that well from each side, so that'll be good, I think. And then we'll run the wire down behind that. And then we'll be good to go. It's not going to be an elaborate shot. I'm just going to put the camera on a tripod with a monitor so I can see what it's doing. Make sure everything is in focus. And a microphone with the C-stand overhead so I can record my audio. And pretty much just drill this sucker, get it put in, and then uh, find out where I need to cut on the drawer. I am going to use the A7R2 and the 24-70 to 70 lens combo. Because that will allow me to stay back a little bit and um, be able to you know zoom in uh, on the process talking about you know drilling where to drill how much I'm gonna drill and all that good stuff I'm also going to be using the Atmos to record this uh, just the SSD is much faster and I like it better actually shooting it to 200 might actually work I'll do 250 keep it a little darker I always find that when I use my color rate card if I do the shot just a little bit darker, I feel like I get better colors out of it once I put that software in. Move it up and down and put less effect on it to go a little darker if I need to. I find that if it's brighter, it really brightens it up and I gotta dump it back anyway. 
All right, we're all set up. I'm um, just going to kind of formulate some thoughts on how I want to do this, and uh, we'll get shooting. The XLR cables are done on the microphone arm, and uh, it's time to uh, start putting these bad boys on. First things first, I sat down and figured out, uh, based on where the monitor sits and where the speakers are, Let's get this get this part cut right here. That dust and crap out of there. We got this part right here that we need to cut, and then we'll be ready to go and finish up the video. I debated on what I wanted to use to cut this. Um, I'm not so much worried about going down; it's going across, and I think I can use my jigsaw for that um, to get like a rounded, you know, a rounded edge. But to get the job done quickly without screwing around too much gonna bring out the big boy. I think this jigsaw will be nice to be able to um, bend it a little bit and either that or a Dremel. I haven't really decided yet. I don't like the way that that's fitting. I can't go all the way through so one more thing. When in doubt jigsaw it out. <laughs> it looks so much neater using the jigsaw, which I should have did from the beginning. Get those wires out of the way there. And, yep. She goes right through. Perfect. That's exactly what I wanted. And uh, we'll go about and start doing the video. Went ahead and shot my little part, talking about the fitting, the fitment, and put the drawer back in. And that is all ready to go. That makes me happy, and this should fit right in there, and that will fit right in front of it, and you won't even see it. All right, so as you see there, I went ahead. So we went ahead and drilled the grommet, and uh, first test. So I went ahead and filled the grommet. Grommet. So I went ahead and did that second uh, shot there, and now that I, you know, wanted to clean up, I took everything out, but the grommet fits good. I'm very happy with it. Guys, sneak peek. There it is. It is done. It's in there. She uh, she works great. I'm very happy with it. And uh, everything went smooth, luckily. The only thing I had to do with the grommet back there was uh, cut that so I could fit it in the um, over the XLR. So you can see there's a little tiny line uh, on the side there, so I just went ahead and just took the Dremel and just sliced it up the side, which is fine. You can't see it, but there it is. That's the uh, cable, and uh, you can't see it from that side, which is the whole point. No cables. So I'm going to do some uh, B-roll shots of this and uh, start editing the video tonight and get it up hopefully by Wednesday. I've got all the footage put on here, and um, I took uh, a backup of all the vlogs that I've done so far and dropped them onto the Synology along with the original footage for the mic. So I can go ahead and actually clean off my editing disk that I've been using because it's one terabyte, but it only has, let's see, what does it have left? 96 gigs. <laughs> so, um, unfortunately, the footage that is on here now um, is how many gigs is this 158 gigs is what uh, the file size is for all the clips that I've shot for the mic so that about does it for me for today's video I hope you guys enjoyed it um, I'm happy that this is done uh, still a lot more to go and uh, that's it so you guys thank you so much for the continued support uh, I hope you're enjoying the behind the scenes stuff and uh, much more to come. If you enjoy the video, give it a thumbs up. If you're stopping by for the first time, hit that subscribe button. Thank you guys so much. You all have a good night and I'll talk to you guys tomorrow.